Hey everybody, we're back at New Smyrna Beach and we're back after the sharks. It's an hour and a half before high tide. The conditions look beautiful and we haven't been surf fishing in three weeks so we need to get something done today. All right, she caught a croaker off camera so that's gonna be the opening up bait. And I got the 10-0 Super Mutu on it. Now we need to get one and she's doing the shark fishing. Hey, she's got something, let's see. Wow, that's a tiny croaker. Here, hold it up. I'm gonna put that on the Terramar. Okay, the Terramar is going out with the Cabo 80, and she caught a whiting off camera, so I got that on a 9.0 Super Mutu. So now I'm gonna be busy today with two shark rods, but I'm gonna try to film her catching the fish a little bit better. This rod doesn't have the GoPro. The GoPro's on the Ocean Master. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is a super dinky whiting. Can, Hold him up. You can put in the live bait. Yeah, I just put the Terramar out, so go ahead, let him go. So she's already got two croaker and two whiting, so who knows how many she's going to catch today. Hey, what do we got? That's a medium-sized whiting. Yeah. Okay, hold him up. All right, good job. She's only throwing it out there about 15 feet. Uh -oh. So she's getting all the little ones. Uh-oh. Cat. Okay, a baby cat, so out comes the fish grips. Last time that thing stuck me. All right, I'm definitely letting him go. She's got one by the bend of that rod. I think that might be a white one. She had cast it out there a little bit farther. Uh oh. Okay. No more sand fleas now. Okay. That's the second cat. I'm definitely taking it off. Hey, she's caught a couple of fish off a of camera. Got the little spot. And that's whitey number four. Let him go. Okay, it's high tide right now. And this is the setup. As usual, she's fishing in the middle. On the left is her Ocean Master with the BG-8000 and the GoPro. And on the right is the Terramar with the Cabo 80 without the GoPro, so that's probably the rod they're gonna hit. It's the way it works. And I got them about 20 yards apart. I We've been here about an hour and a half. I thought we would have had something by now. Okay, hold them up. The GoPro froze on me. So, she's got a spot and a croaker, a little double. So she's probably caught about 10 or 11 fish now. They're all small, but that's okay. That's why I don't trust this GoPro 8 to put it on the other rod, it freezes. She hasn't caught anything in about 30 minutes, so let's see what this is. Wow, a dinky whiting. She's only caught one really nice whiting today. The rest of everything else is small, the croakers and everything. Let it go? Yeah, let it go. You on there? Go back one.
Okay, tighten the drag up a little bit. We just missed a pull down a little minute ago. And you might have to put him down. Yeah, hold on. Tighten the drag up just a little bit. You think it's a ray? Yeah. Okay, let me let me reel that rod in. Okay, she says it's a little shark. It's got to be a black nose. Yeah. He's a black nose. Hold on a minute. He's a little black nose. Whitey's head is a bigger than his The whitey's head is bigger than his mouth. Okay, I'm going to have to get the pliers. He's a little black nose. He's better than nothing. You go. All right, well, she caught the little black nose. He's actually small, even for a black nose. That's better than nothing. Okay, wow, well, I grabbed the GoPro again and <laughs> she hasn't caught a catfish in two and a half hours. I'm taking it off. I'm not even going to use it for bait. I'm letting it go. Well, we've been here five and a half hours. We got the little black nose and she probably caught about 13 or 14 whiting and spots and catfish and croakers. But only one was a decent size, that medium-sized whiting. Everything else has been small. But unlike all of our other long trips, you really can't do that in the summertime. You're going to get nailed by the thunderstorms. So I think we're going to start packing up. I at least bring one rod in. I'm actually running out of bait. So whatever this is, I'm using it on the Terramar, unless it's a Pompano. Okay, that, that's one of them small whiting. Here, hold it up. Baby! That's a dinky one. I'm putting it on there alive. What the hell, right? Okay, this is how we're gonna close out the day. That's good, I'm gonna probably put half of that on instead of the live one, because the black nose will just rip it off. So I, I just uh, put the Ocean Master up and switch the Terramar over by the GoPro. And uh, my regular buzzard is eating my old shark bait. He's one of my friends. All right, I've had the Terramar in the first cut here, pretty shallow for about the past hour. We've already been here about seven hours. That's way longer than what we was gonna stay. All right, that doesn't look like much. But the thunderstorms in Florida in the summertime can come up on you pretty fast. So she's gonna fish with her bait rod for a little bit while I start putting stuff up and then we're gonna leave. All right, we're wrapping it up. First time we've been to the beach in three weeks. It's been a seven hour trip. We gotta get out of here before the rain gets us. She caught about 15 fish 
but they were all small croakers, spots, whiting, the little catfish, and we caught the little black nose shark. But we'll take whatever we can get. We just got to get back out here as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.